the end part like those 14 to 15 days if you are knowing your interview is scheduled so the striver seat is the <laughs> most like best, best. Uh, so i practiced a striver seat like from start to end there are many many resources on youtube so it's like you just want okay important questions about dbms one one video on dbms like i want to prepare so it's like there are many things on uh, youtube but it's like i studied those things in my second year so i just needed one video to revise everything so hi everyone today we have a special guest on our channel we have kriti with us so kriti would you like to introduce yourself uh hello hello everyone uh, hi asis first of all thank you for inviting me to your channel so here i am kriti jaiswal currently i am working as an associate software engineer at service now i belong to samastipur bihar so here i am to share my interview experience and uh, my placement journey about service now Yes, exactly. So, like she mentioned, she'll be sharing her entire journey and experience, interview experience of service now. So, over to you, Kriti. How did you get in service now? How was the interview experience? What all happened? So, for there were four rounds. Like first, it was resume shortlisting. And then after that, we had online assessment. And after that, I had three rounds, like uh, two technical rounds and one managerial round. So, coming about resume shortlisting. So, my resume got shortlisted for service now. after resume shortlisting i got uh, i sat for the oa so oa can consist of two questions uh, i can say the difficulty level was medium to hard questions were from to, uh, data structures or algorithms topics like one graph and hashing those type of questions so it was of one and half hours on hacker rank platform so after uh, one week uh, of our oa i got like shortlisting for the interviews so uh, my interview was scheduled like between 15 to 14 days after the uh, oa so all the three interviews were on the same day so it started with the first interview in the morning the first interview it was like completely based on data structures and algorithms so she gave me two questions i can range them like one question was of medium level and one question was medium to hard dsc so and she asked me some questions on my resume my projects and uh, those things the core subjects i have learned in my btech so first round was like that so it was around 45 to 50 minutes so my second round started it it also started with a small intro then after that he asked me everything which i wrote in my resume my achievements and my work experience like what things hackathons and those things which i passed participated in my college then it's like he started he told me to explain my project so my project was the main project which i mentioned in my resume was of spring boot so i explained him the project and it's like there were many questions on spring boot as this was my like uh, i was doing intern also at ge vanova so i uh, there i had one training session uh, it was of one month it was on java spring boot so i mentioned that project in my resume so questions were on spring boot also after that he gave me one dsa question that was i will range between medium to hard it was of string maybe you can say so uh, that dsa question and the focus was on the approach i am taking to solve the problem and also like uh, i suggested the solution then also he was making me giving me hints to optimize that so i went to the sol to the optimized solution then he asked me to to write the code so i wrote the code he checked checked it and then we had the discussion like uh, what is he told me to ask one question so i asked like so service now work culture and those things so we were discussing such stuffs but after that round it was like till one hour there was no update from the college like i guess till 1 o'clock that interview went 1 hour 10 minutes or something you can say after that i had no update like i 
thought ki the after the previous interview i got the update in 15 minutes now i am not getting any call from the college what happened after 15 to 20 minutes i only called my placement cell the one who was coordinating with me she told there is no update for you i was like i was very tense to what wrong i did like i answered answered everything i like told time complexities all those things were good what happened but like it was exact to i got the call to join the zoom link because you know one to two is lunch break in corporate so <laughs> so it's like i was not getting the call i thought ki okay it's over day is over but i got the call at exact 2 to join the zoom link at 2 1 uh, when uh, she joined she had approximately 10 years of experience so this was my managerial round like uh, the questions were on like what was my college experience uh, which la- which coding coding language i like like why i liked this language how how is my coding journey how i got to know like coding is important when i got to know because we are covid batch so everyone asks us what you did in, in your first and second year so it's like uh, they asked me this type of questions then questions were on my ge experience which is ongoing internship i was doing so it was like team management she was giving me some logical questions and uh, like what if this will happen then how you will react to this these things then she asked me about my hobbies like what thing interests me and those things and we end up gossiping like anything we were talking <laughs> we were talking and it's like uh, it was a completely 45 minutes interview so it was completely behavioral round that am i suitable for the team or not so this was my interview experience after that it is like i was thinking what is going to happen but on the very second day like it was on 1st of april that is a very <laughs> i was thinking i was thinking like okay this is full april full stay i can't think like okay this is going to happen like interviews were good and everything but on 2nd of april i got call from my placement head that okay you are sort you are selected as an associate software engineer at service now i was very happy like prior to the that call i was very tensed because college college told me that result will be declared post lunch so po- before that i was so tensed like i was thinking ki my interviews were good so one time i was like no i am going to get so second time i was like no i can't think like this so this was like my interview experience and uh, okay so if you have any question yeah yeah so i'd like to know more about your preparation strategy because you said even before this you had a internship right so how did you manage preparing for another company while already having like work from there like what was your preparation journey like uh in turning at ge was very helpful in like uh, uh, getting the offer at service now because they had a very good thing like they have one training program that is when you just go from college you have many things in mind like how i will work with the team am i aligning with their needs like requirements so it's like we just entered the company and we got to know like we were going to get one month of training on the tech stacks which my manager suggested like okay my team requirement was java spring boot so i was in java spring boot uh, thing so that thing helped me completely in learning a new tech stack and that was i told that helped me in my second round like questions were on the spring boot and it was like for dsa data structures and algorithms practice i was i did lead code very like in my college i was very consistent with the lead code every day i used to solve three to four problems so that helped me and the end part like those 14 to 15 days if you are knowing your interview is scheduled so the striver seat is the most like best uh, so i practiced striver seat like from start to end so it was like the best thing like to practice 
when you don't have such time and for core subjects like i learned my core subjects when i was in I, uh, in my second year os dbms and c uh, computer networks those thing but it's like when you are going to give an interview you need to revise those things so there are many many resources on youtube so it's like you just want okay important questions about dbms one one video on dbms like i want to prepare so it's like there are many things on uh, youtube but it's like i studied those things in my second year so i just needed one video to revise everything so i revised those things and then i every day i used to take take like i will today i will practice array then i will practice trees then uh, stacks then in this way like i managed to practice data structure and algorithm like remember all the algorithms and those things so this was my preparation step like driver seat is the best i can say and uh, yeah that's my preparation start strategy for spring boot i had many notes when like i had the training program so i and that was a fresh knowledge for me at that time because i had the training session and i was working on that tech stack so it was good like things aligned with me and uh, i i am here yeah so basically you were one of the few students who actually <clears throat> like uh, took part in the classes in college right <clears throat> yeah it's Because like when they teach all those subjects i don't think anyone actually pays attention to them and then in the placement they have to again you know go back and study all those things from scratch it's like i remember my os cn and those things were online classes were there so os was one of my favorite subjects like i used to learn it from gates masters before it is going to be taught in the class so it's like uh, gates masters is one of the helpful platform like for this core subjects so it was core subjects uh, yeah i was very interested during my classes <laughs> college days yeah. yeah college days so on a final note you know to all of the people who are watching this video who also want to crack a company like service now what advice would you like to give to those students who are watching so on a final note i just want to say like what i realized in my when i came to college in my fifth semester i realized like coding practice is like required if you want to crack such companies or if you want to clear the oas of different companies it's like coding practice is needed but when i i was doing the classes online i used to learn all the subjects there was dsa like i learned everything but it's like i was not doing the practice when i came to college i started with lead code and i got to know the thing like if you are consistent on it anything then you will achieve like yeah i was very consistent with lead code during my 1.5 years in college uh, till the time i got in the opportunity at ge i was like very consistent on lead code so practicing is the only thing i will suggest like do coding because it's necessary it's important and apart from that have one good project like in my college i took android development because as my minor like there are majors and minors so android development was was my minor because i i needed some projects to so in my resume so it's like we got the opportunity to take such subjects so i was into android development and uh, coding practice that is the only thing i will suggest hmm. nice that's great to hear <clears throat> okay so i guess that covers pretty much everything about service now's interview experience and you know your journey how you were able to get to there if anyone still has any doubt about service now or about placement strategy then i'll give kriti's link in the description you guys can follow her from there and connect with her from there she posts some great content on placement preparation things like that so thanks a lot kriti for coming on my channel and sharing your journey i hope it will help a lot of students thank you thank you so much for inviting me thank you